Good evening my orchid friends, it's Margaret again from Emmy's Orchids and I know I wasn't going to pick up any of the orchids with a scale today I was having a restful day but it does prey on my mind and I got this uh, mounted division here, it's Pastoral Innocence and um, I just came to water her and I just want to um, be able to show you um, what I've found now, of course, to do this and uh, try and hold the uh, tablet right. So this is the only way I can do it. You bear with me a minute now. Okay, so let's just see if I can... So there's the telltale signs of scale. And she, there at the bottom near that new suitable. If I just go in there, can you just see them? And what I've done now is uh, that eye there. I forced that eye back. And uh, let's see if I can get you down in there. Without it blurring. And there's uh, loads of them. It's all white inside. There's the other side of that uh, pseudobulb. Now, um, as I say, this is a division and uh, this little new growth here has, has sent out two new roots. There's a root tip on this one here and uh, we'll bring you over here. I've got two divisions. This other one I don't think has got any roots on at all. And um, let me just do this, bring this one back. So I've had this one in here. They've both been in this nice warm tepid water. We've just had tea. And uh, so I've just come and checked her now. And uh, blow me down. I thought myself, I've got to visit, I've got to video this so that people can see what they're looking for. So, is it going to bear? Now, I'm not going to mount these again. Um, this one's got two, as I say, she's got two little tiny roots. So, hopefully, I can pot her up and um, she'll survive in those, uh, in the medium. Um, if you just bear with me a minute now, I just want to clean her up and then I'll put her in the fresh water and come back to you. Now, by exposing this eye, there's still a little bit of the eye there and if you look here where that uh, new growth comes out of this one look at the telltale signs that eye is full of it and also under the sheaths here. So I'm going to try and remove as much of this uh, bark as I can and then uh, she'll go back in the uh, in the bleach bath. See what I mean when I say to you that uh, you won't be able to see this? Well I didn't I didn't see this it's only by chance. Um, so this, this is uh, so important that you get down underneath and have a good inspection. So I've cleaned the first division and now I'm back again. And this is the second division. Now she's got an eye there and that eye is still alive. And we're going to have to try and get that debris from around it. Uh, well, that would have been the sheath that's covered it. Now, can you see? The scale there. And if you come over here. Sorry, I've got this, I've got the light on from the, it's going dark here. Um, let me just see if I can get her a bit, at a better angle for you. Let's see if it'll focus now. not very good is it because I can see the centre light I don't know whether you can that's probably better 
So it's allowing me now to go in and can you see all those scale there? All clustered at the bottom there. They're all clustered there where this uh, these sheaths go round that, that pseudo bulb there. Now this one hasn't got uh, any viable roots but she's got some eyes so I'm going to clean it up and then they'll be potted together and then they'll be isolated. Oh look at it all up here. So bear with me a bit while longer. Right, so I've thoroughly gone over both these. You can see all the debris in the uh, the bottom of this uh, bleach bath. And um, I've had to clear that new little growth and taken the sheath back as far as I can without actually removing her. And you see this one here. I've taken this lower sheath down. You can just see the the slight cut there, um, well it's not a cut, it's where I've tried to, to drag it. I, she's still unstable if I try and move that one, so I don't move that one. This is the other big piece and uh, again I'm in the, the wrong light now. But there's that viable, viable eye and uh, she's got another eye behind there but um, I've damaged that. I think it was already damaged. But just cleaning these two, um, you see these marks here, just cleaning these two and putting them in, them in bleach and, and thinking about um, the infestation I've got and the uh, I've come up with a common denominator of these, um, these cat layers coming from Madeira. It can be the only, uh, the only explanation and because none of the others are um, infected, none of my other plants are infected, just these cattleyas. And um, the big one I did yesterday, now I had that in 2015 and um, I'm sure that didn't have scale on because we're now 2017. And um, it's debatable whether, whether they would be that slow um, in two years. But I think uh, I've had these earlier and um, I think these were already infected. So uh, what I'm going to do now is um, put them in that clean water. Give them another good checking over. And uh, like I say this piece here has got no roots but she's got a viable eye. So I will plant them up together. I think at one time I must have um, made the divisions just checking for fusarium. As you can see, she, this one's a bit gnarled and this one here over this side now, uh, she did have a, um, a flower sheath but I've removed that. There you can see it in the water because I don't want anything uh, lurking behind there. So I'll come back now when it's all potted up. I was just about to pull them out of this uh, bleach bath to put them in the clear water and I thought, uh, what was on the... I could just see something on the top of this little new pseudobulb here and I'll just show you. So I gently, ever so gently, now I don't know whether I'm in focus here, just bear with me a minute. So I gently, ever so gently, prized that little leaf open and blow me down if the damn scale weren't in there as well. I tell you, they get everywhere. So, uh, she's gone back in the bleach water now. I'll have to have a cup of tea now and calm down. And, and then they'll have to go in the fresh water again. You think to yourself, well, look at that thing across the water there. You do get paranoid, you know. You see things that aren't really there. And you think, oh God, I'm sure that's one swimming about there. Can you see that little white one there, just above the, the green root? I'm sure it isn't. Oh dear. I think it must just be floating now. Can you see that there? Oh my goodness. So, got that one there. And that one there. I think it must be me. I must be having a senior moment. Anyway, not to worry. 
Well, it's all potted up now, folks, and uh, that's the eye of the uh, the one without any roots. And the other side, as you can see there, that was the eye that was uh, damaged. So um, it's still green underneath. So now whether or not it'll send anything else out, I don't know. And if we just gently turn this round here. Um, that's the, uh, the growth, the new growth that was already there. I can just have to be careful because I'm going to... And that's the new little growth there. Can you see you there now? So they're in Okiata bark and um, lava rock. I've had to uh, secure them in. It looks a bit Heath Robinson, but uh, that's the best way I can do it. And this, uh, this little wooden skewer here, that's just to help this, um, this pseudo bulb to lift over the the edge of the um, of the pot. So it's only a smallish pot. I've kept them into one pot together. And if I bring a whole over here. Just put a bit of the rubbish out of the way. And, uh, as you see, the, the leaves aren't brilliant. A little bit uh, dehydrated. Well, they're very dehydrated. But there again, it's uh, their older, their older um, cane pseudobulbs here. Anyway, now I know the uh, the sauce and uh, I can now deal with I think I've only got uh, two or three others so I think these will survive it's just uh, I've just caught that uh, scale in time anyway thanks for, for bearing with me and uh, from me to you have a good evening and we'll speak again soon bye now